Hello everybody, I am Hardik Patel. This is my fifth video of Git tutorial. And this is third video in commands. Third and final. So in this video, I am going to teach you few more commands which are also useful. Right? Okay, so let's start with one git branch. So git branch, when you enter this, so may, whichever branches are available in your local git repository it will list down and you can see here that master branch is currently selected so if you want to change the branch just use this git checkout command this is another command git checkout test right so now I am going to see which branch I am in. Now you are in test branch. So if you see the status, you can see the status like your branch and master have diverged and have one and one different commits each respectively. Get pull to merge the remote branch into yours, nothing to commit. So basically first what you will do just use this git rebase command so what it will do like if you have all the commits here forget about the remote branch right now just so uh, in a first command series first command session i explained that what is the difference between git pool and fetch rebase so this is this situation happens after git fetch or you have some committed or some fetch now what you can do is just rebase so it will rewrite the history and it will make smooth all the commits so rewinding head to replay your work on top of it now if you will see the git status command there will not be anything your branch is up to date with master why it is up to date with master because even though even though we are ahead in master branch see here it is written that your branch is ahead of origin master by one commit but what we do what we did is that i just created a branch from master itself so that is why it has all the commits available and that is not abstract that is not set as a remote branch in remote repository there is no branch available like uh, named paste so now again let's check out the branch paste okay now let's add one file touch new dot txt okay status now add new dot txt okay now we are added right okay now if that if i don't want to add this file to the git i don't want to track this file anymore because this is not required in my project so i want to remove that from git yet i need that file in my local repository in my local project to work on but this is not required or this is not mandatory to run the project in other system so that's why i want to remove so there are two way to remove from the staging to untracked files right git reset head either you name this file or name this file or you can you cannot mention anything that will do for all the files but in our case right now we have only one file so um, anyway it will do for only one so let's get reset head and if you will see the command now it is again untracked file so let's do one more time the same thing but with another command so git status now it is again it is a stage stage a staged uh, situation position uh, and now i am going to remove that git cached and new.txt or dot again it is removed now if you will see that this is an untracked files okay now i am going to explain another command that is uh, 
that is merge and this is more complex everywhere so someone just do only uh, development but if it if someone is lead position then he needs to do some merging of the different different branches then that uh, then for the for those people this command is useful git let's uh, create one command here first git add new.txt git commit fnm new file is added j okay now uh, if you will see that one commit is ahead your branch is ahead of master by one commit why it is saying master because i have forked the branch from the master branch that's why it is saying that right okay now let's go to the checkout and uh, master status if you will see the git log what is the top uh, commit that is uh, author of a test user and this new test file added oh, now let's merge test so if if i want to merge any branch to source to destination then you first check out to the destination branch and then use this command with the source branch so git merge and in our case source branch is test status now we are two commits ahead for origin master now we can push let's see the log now you can see this new file is added on top of all the commits now it is uh, all the commits from the test branch are in this master branch now you can push origin master okay so this is it for this all the commands we have uh, covered which are very useful and helpful in a daily basis but now there are few situations like uh, in a merge or pool so in those situations we get to uh, in a conflict situation so how can we resolve those conflicts that i will explain in the next video so for now that's it thanks for watching Again, if you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.